In a video I made a little while ago, I showed you how to get these app shortcuts to websites on your desktop, allowing you to get to sites such as Yahoo, Gmail, BBC, Outlook, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, etc. Whatever website you want, you can pin it and create a little app icon on your desktop. But what I didn't show you how to do was how to get the app icons in the taskbar at the bottom of the screen. So say for instance, if you wanted to go to Facebook, you could just click on the F at the bottom of the screen and up comes Facebook. If you wanted to go to the BBC, you could just click on that and up comes the BBC. Likewise, if you wanted to go to Wikipedia, Instagram, TikTok, Pinterest, whatever you click at the bottom of the screen, that will open up. If you're watching this video as a short, tap on the thumbnail in the bottom right hand corner right now to see the full video. If you're already watching the full video, hold tight, more details coming up shortly. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. So as I say, we can set up all of these little icons to go to certain websites and it really doesn't matter what website if you can see the website on your computer, you can add a shortcut to it at the bottom of the screen. So first of all, you need to ensure that you've got Google Chrome installed on your laptop or desktop PC. If you haven't got it installed, then go to google.com forward slash Chrome and install it. Then once it's installed, go into Google Chrome and then find the website that you want to set up the little app icon for. So for instance, I'm gonna to go to Facebook. So let's just type in the search bar at the top of the screen, facebook.com. Okay, so I've gone into Facebook. Now, normally here, if you signed in, you wouldn't be at the login screen, but it doesn't really matter. So next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up to the three dots in the top right-hand corner of the screen, left click once, and then go down to more tools, and then move across to create shortcut and left click once. So we now get this create shortcut box come up. And as you can see, Facebook is highlighted in blue. And this means if we want to, we can change the name of the shortcut. Now you don't have to, if you're quite happy with it, you can leave it there. But if you wanna change it, you can just hit the backspace key and you can type in whatever you like. I'm just gonna type retype Facebook, but like I say, that's only if you really want to change the name. Then you click on create, left click once, go up to the cross in the top right hand corner of Chrome to close it down, click on it. And there, somewhere on the desktop, you will see Facebook. So the next thing you need to do is you need to click the right mouse button over the Facebook icon there, then move up to pin to, to start, left click once, that will pin it to the start bar, click on the start button. And then if you don't see it on there, scroll downwards and you should see Facebook just there or the website app that you've pinned. Click on the right mouse button. That's the button on the right hand side of the mouse, not the left. And then you'll get this come up. And then down here, you've got pin to taskbar. Move down to that, left click once. And there we go. You've actually got the Facebook icon on your taskbar. And when we left click once on it, Facebook will open. So let's just go through that again. So this time I'm gonna do a little shortcut for Gmail. So go into Google Chrome, find the website you wanna to go to. So let's just click on Gmail up there and then click on the three dots in the top right hand corner, go down to more tools, go across to create shortcut, left click. And here you've got create shortcut. Now, if you wanna, like I say, rename that, I'm just gonna, delete that out and type in there just Gmail because I don't need all the other stuff. So let's just type in Gmail. Left click once on create, come out of Chrome by clicking on the cross in the top right hand corner, find the icon that is created on your desktop, click the right mouse button and then go to pin to start and left click. Then go into the start menu, have a look there, scroll down if need to and then find Gmail there, click the right mouse button and then left click pin to taskbar and there we go. Gmail has now appeared in the taskbar at the bottom of the screen. I can left click once on that and there you go. It will take us into Gmail. Now, what if I want to delete the icons off the desktop? Can I do that? Let's have a look. So let's right click on Gmail there, click on the bin or click on delete 
and there you go it's deleted from the desktop let's uh, click on Facebook so right click Facebook on the desktop click on the bin or delete that disappears now do these two still work down here let's click on that yep that still takes us to Facebook and does that work yep that still takes us to Google now what about the start menu can I unpin these from start let's just go into it click on the right mouse button over the icon we want click on unpin from start click on the next icon that we want click on unpin from start there you go they've gone from the start bar do they still work at the bottom of the screen there yes they do there you go so there you go that guide showed you how you can install a app shortcut for a website on the taskbar on the bottom of the screen this is in windows 11 but should also work in windows 10 too i hope you like this video and if you did why not stick around have a look through my youtube channel i've got thousands of other videos right here covering all sorts of subjects hopefully whilst you're here you're going to find something to educate you entertain you amuse you and maybe even save you some time and money and also if you're looking for a vpn or a fire stick have a look in the description below i've got loads of offers in there for you